motion pictures have been a part of the culture of Canada since the industry began. History Around 1910, the East Coast filmmakers began to take advantage of California winters, and after Nesta Studios, run by Canadian Al Christie, built the first permanent movie studio in Hollywood, a number of the movie companies expanded or relocated to the new Hollywood. At the same time, because there was no sound in movies, several French filmmakers had their motion pictures distributed in America. These French studios, led by Pathé Copyright as well as Gourmand Pictures and Georges Mar Copyright Lea S., were the dominant force worldwide until 1914 when movie production in France virtually ended with the onset of World War I. List of Canadian film pioneers in Hollywood, among those Canadians who took part in the early years of Hollywood were, Alec Ariolac, Inuit actor and subject of Nanook of the North, Charles Arling, actor, L. W. Bascom, actor, artist, worked with Roy Rogers, worked on Louis B. Mayer's Ranch in Paris, California, William Bertram, actor, director, Ben Blue, actor, comedian, Jack Carson, actor, Al Christie, co-founder of Christie Film Company, director screenwriter, Charles Christie, co-founder of Christie Film Company, builder of Hollywood's first luxury hotel, Burton Churchill, actor, Sam DeGrasse, actor, Joe DeGrasse, director, Fifi Dorsey, actress, Marie Dressler, Academy Award for Best Actress, Deanna Durbin, actress, singer, Douglas Dumbrill, moving and television actor, Alan Dwan, director, producer, screenwriter, Edward Earl, actor, Rockcliffe Fellows, actor, Glenn Ford, actor, Huntley Gordon, actor, Harry Hayden, actor, Del Henderson, actor, director, writer, Walter Houston, Academy Award winning actor, May Irwin, actor, first screen kiss in 1896, Victor Jory, actor, Ruby Keeler dancer, actress, Barbara Kent, actress, Florence Labedi, actress, Florence Lawrence, America's first movie star, Beatrice Lilly, actress, Jean Lockhart, actor, Del Lord, comedy director, Wilfred Lucas, director, screenwriter, actor, Henry McRae, director, producer, screenwriter, actor, Raymond Massey, actor, Louis B. Mayer, co-euro founder of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Motion Pictures Studios, Bob Nolan, singer-actor in Western musicals as leader of the Sons of the Pioneers, Sidney Alcott, director, Jack Pickford, actor, Hollywood's first bad boy, Lottie Pickford, actress, Mary Pickford, America's sweetheart, Academy Award for Best Actress, co-euro founder of United Artists, Walter Pigeon, actor, Marie Prevost, actress, William Quinn, actor, Max Sennett, director, known as the King of Comedy, Athel Shearer, actress, wife of director Howard Hawks, Douglas Shearer sound director designer, winner of seven Academy Awards, Norma Shearer, Academy Award for Best Actress, Nell Shipman, actress, writer, producer, Jay Silverheels, actor known for his portrayal of Tonto, sidekick to the Lone Ranger, Ned Sparks, actor, Richard Travers, actor, Jack Warner, co-founder of Warner Brothers, Marjorie White, actress, Joseph Wiseman, actor, Fay Ray, actress, Canadian seen in Hollywood, in his book Star Dust and Shadows, Canadians in Early Hollywood, Charles Foster recounted his experiences meeting some of these Canadians while on leave from the Royal Air Force during World War II. Foster visited Hollywood where he was introduced to Canadian and silent movie director Sidney Alcott. Through Alcott he learned of Hollywood's Canadian community. Although total strangers, young Foster was welcomed with open arms. This social gathering of Canucks also included Walter Pigeon, Deanna Durbin, Fifi Dorsey, and others who worked in the movie business. Several of these Canadian pioneers achieved enormous wealth and worldwide fame, such as Louis B. Mayer and Mary Pickford who were, in their day, two of the most powerful personalities in Hollywood. From the late 1920s to the mid-1930s, Canadian female actresses were amongst the greatest box office draws. The Academy Award for Best Actress was won by Canadian women three years in a row, 1929, Mary Pickford in Coquette, 1930, Norma Shearer in The Divorcee, 
1931, Marie Dressler in Min and Bill, Foster recounts the feelings and deep loyalty of Louis B. Mayer. Although he had become a naturalized American citizen, Mayer was known to hire Canadian compatriots on the spot, as St. John, New Brunswick native Walter Pigeon later recalled, several Canadian expatriates also saw their careers decline and died before the age of 55. Florence Lawrence, the first real movie star, the biograph girl in Hollywood history, who appeared in more than 270 movies, committed suicide at the age of 52. She is buried in unmarked grave in the Hollywood Cemetery. Marie Prevost, who was a leading lady during the mid-1920s, suffered from depression after the death of her mother in 1926. In 1937, she died of acute alcoholism and malnutrition at the age of 38. Florence Labadie died of injuries she sustained in a car accident in August 1917 at the age of 29. Jack Pickford, Mary Pickford's younger brother, died at age 36 from what was then known as multiple neuritis, while his sister Lottie died of a heart attack at age 43. References Further reading, Charles Foster, Star Dust and Shadows, Canadians in Early Hollywood, 2000, Dune Duran Press ISBN 1-55002-348-9